very timely initiative that the World Bank has uh, taken. We are very happy at the Danish Embassy to partner with the World Bank. I mean, urbanization is a big issue in India. There are so many different facets of urbanization uh, that needs to be attended to. If you don't get it right, you will see a lot of urban sprawl. Go to, uh, go to Bangalore and try to take a ride in a car and you'll see what happens if you don't get it right. So therefore there needs to be planning, urban planning to, to, to move on this. And one very important part and I think becoming more significant is sort of the nexus between urbanization and digitalization. India has built a fantastic infrastructure when it comes to digitalization with mobile phones and ad hoc cards and so forth. And how can we make these two things work together, the fact that we need to have urban development, make it smart, and then use this digitalization, this infrastructure in a positive way. We need to be able to see where we can support leapfrogging, where we can get good information, good best practices, good technologies from other places to come to India and, and work, but with a, with a foundation so that there is a place to, to, to jump from and jump to. If you don't have that, deep flopping can be very dangerous. So, so this is what is part of this uh, this whole thing as well, that you need to identify where, where are you going with your deep flopping and, and how do you make that sustainable and manageable as well. This whole idea of having uh, representatives from different cities, you have international uh, organizations, the World Bank, you have private partners, we have um, businesses coming here as well, and you have uh, the Indian government present, and you have uh, Nordic uh, countries present, you have the Netherlands present, you have the US present. And I think that in itself speaks for what we're talking about when it comes to partnerships. One of the challenges you have in a, in a country like India is, uh, I mean, my country, we have 5.7 million. How do you get an impact in a country with 1.3 billion people? Uh, the same challenges is, is uh, the one the World Bank is, is, uh, is facing. And I think the, w the way to try to manage that is to create some platforms where you can actually share things that come out in a, in a forum like the one we are attending today, the conference, and, and make it possible for others to actually uh, learn from the experiences coming out of the conference. So if you create platforms where you can actually share information, you can penetrate this big, wonderful country in a much better way.